Now this chapter of his life is called Paying for Pornhub with Bitcoin. Well, look at that. There's an eighth deadly sin. Who oh, no. knew? And this is where we get into his MILF phase. In his head, this was him maturing. Some of his online searches during this time period include MILF Blasters 4, Mighty MILFs 3, Milfy Mouse and Donald Fuck, When There's a MILF, There's a Way, and You Are the Dancing Queen But 30 Years Later. Objection, Your Holiness, he never acted on these urges. It was only a fantasy which exists outside reality where everything's made up and sins don't matter. No, he tried to act on these urges but was unsuccessful because he has no game, which we can all agree to. But it doesn't change the fact that the fantasy never became reality. But we should still care about intentions and his intentions were to make this fantasy a reality. Yeah, but with his lack of game, he knew it wouldn't really happen. I mean, him going out looking for a MILF is like someone going out trying to find the end of the rainbow. It's fun, you know what you're looking for, but the laws of physics prevent you from getting there. All right, I've heard enough. I'm sure this could go on for another hour. But before we move forward, very important question here. Do we have record of any gay experiences? Uh, just one cooking class. Ah, the gateway. Well, with that, let's move on to the next sin, which is... So were you jelly? Your Holiness, after analyzing more of his internal thoughts, we did find that the defendant was jelly of the male students in his class who were taller than him. <gasps> now, was he jelly just because of their height, or did he want to be them instead of himself? Both forms of jelliness seem to be prevalent, but it did peak with the guy who started dating his ex, shortly after they broke up. Thank you. I would like to submit his man diary into evidence. The court recognizes the man diary. Now you have all been given copies. Now I would like to turn our attention to entry 476. My heart aches like a breaky heart. I jerked it to her picture again. Sad face. Why does she want to be with someone else? Why can't I be him? You know what? I think I need someone older. Someone who knows what they want. Yeah, that's what I need. Girls my age are so immature. Starting today, I'm only going after moms over 40. They'll treat you right. You know what? I'm going to hit the bar tonight. Entry 477. No success. Why won't anyone love me? I have decided to turn my attention to the person who is always there for me. Online porn. But I need to acquire .00347 Bitcoin to see the good stuff. It will be worth it. Well, that was depressing. Let's move on. You ever have feelings of uncontrollable rage and anger? No, I'm not a protester. Your Holiness, I would like to turn our attention to the day in which the defendant was driving behind a slow driver on a one-lane road. As they were going down this road, they approached a stoplight and the slow driver began to apply the brakes even though the light was green. As he was applying the brakes, the light proceeded to turn yellow and then red. The slow driver stopped before passing the stoplight forcing the defendant to stop as well. To which he said, and I quote, <clears throat> Are you fucking kidding me, you piece of shit? What in heaven's fuck were you thinking? I swear to God, if I had one wish, I'd wish that you would get sexually assaulted by a genie three times. I hate you so much. I hope all your ancestors experience famines. I hope your childhood babysitter was P. Diddy. I hope you spend an eternity in hell giving foot jobs to Dan Schneider. And I hope you know that because of you, I don't believe in God anymore. That's right. Fuck you, God. If you're real, strike me down now. You won't, pussy. End quote. The same thing happened at the previous light and I'm only human. Objection, your honor, my client did not murder the slow driver and for that he deserves at least 
a park named after him. Because, like, Gandhi who? Right? I mean, that is true nonviolence. Sustained. All right, now let's move on to our last sin, which is... So did you sloth? What? It's like, were you ever lazy? Oh, no, I didn't have a trust fund. Your Holiness, we do have evidence that the defendant did procrastinate his final Walt Whitman essay in college until the night before. <gasps> it was assigned weeks ago. And was it written on the syllabus? Uh, yes, Your Holiness. Do you have anything to say about this? I'm guessing that class was so fucking boring is not the answer you're looking for. But, objection, your holiness, I would like to cite Psalms chapter 4, where it clearly states that poetry is, according to God's standards, objectively fucking boring. Sustained. And with that, I think I've heard everything I need to hear. The jury will now determine whether you should get into heaven or hell. Twelve seconds later. The results are in. Oh boy. It looks like you'll be going to... Hell where you'll be bunking with Dan Schneider. Would it help if I said I didn't enjoy the cooking class? Do you have anything else you'd like to say? I would like to appeal. No. I thought this was like a normal trial. Hey, I don't make the rules. Yes, you fuck!